What's up guys and welcome to my latest video. In today's video I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna teach you as always how to play this very interesting game that surprisingly enough has passed under my radar. So uh, it's very difficult for me to not know about a certain game but you know this particular game just uh, I, I, I wasn't really uh, informed about this game. Uh, it was amazing because this game is such a great game. Uh, so yeah, basically this game is like a mixture between Battlefield and, you know, Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. It's like a mixture between those three games. And maybe some, some you know, some aspects of Rainbow Six. So it's basically a military, you know, contemporary modern warfare shooter uh, where you uh, play with squads of, of teammates and you just, uh, you know, uh, accomplish different objectives and it's very tactical and depending on what difficulty of, of the bots you configure, the gameplay is going to be very challenging and very realistic because bots could take you down in like a free shots or something so you have to take care of your team and yourself as well obviously so yeah basically here you can see the both bo uh, both computers connected to the same network here you can see that we are just successfully connected uh, there's just no problem between them um, and it's playing really nice um, right now the server itself is configured with a very challenging difficulty, so it's very, um, you have to play very slow and very smart, because bots, here I, I just kill the bot, there they shooting me, shooting me at me, there this, that guy, it's very difficult to play with only one hand. Uh, the game, as you may notice, is really good looking. The graphics are, are pretty amazing, especially considering that the game itself is using the Source engine. It, it looks like a very refined version of the Source engine, similar to Counter Go. So yeah, basically this is just a little gameplay that I'm going to show you, so you can see that it works. So now I'm going to quit, uh, quit this game, and I'm going to uh, show you how to make all this shit work. Um, so yeah. Basically, we are here. I'm gonna just quit it with the other computer. I'm gonna leave you guys the game in the description. You will have to enter my, you know, my webpage, uh, register to my forum as usual, and there you will have to find the thread of the game, and you will be able to download the whole package. Um, this game in particular, I took the, the the effort actually to make this really nice folder with both things. It, it includes the game itself, obviously, and also the uh, the server. So both things are included in the same uh, folder. Um, here you can see a, f a folder named Stuff, and there, inside there, you'll have some couple of tutorials that uh, are useful because in one you have the admin commands, and in the other one it's essentially what I'm actually telling you but already done. So it's actually an, a tutorial that teaches you how to make uh, insertions insertions in server, but it's almost useless now because I already did all those steps for you guys. So all you have to do is just download this folder and click and play. And here's some backup files which are not necessary either because I already installed them, but uh, not this one. This I didn't install this one. This This wasn't necessary, but this this little file, yes, because it's essentially the server. But don't worry about this, there's just backups because everything is already installed. So basically once you install the, once you extract the game, you'll have something like this, obviously. You will notice that uh, Smart Steam Emu is already installed in here. So you obviously want to have the Steam, uh, you know, your Steam obviously closed because this version of the game is already, you know, patched. Uh, so you don't have to use Steam. Um, if you have Steam open, make sure to close it because it will otherwise interfere, make some interference with the game and you won't be able to join a local area network. 
So once you have this, just uh, execute. You can execute the game from SSC Launcher. You will have your insertion C uh, icon. I highly suggest you just to click, right click on it, um, create a desktop shortcut, and you'll have something like this. Here you go. We're gonna go to properties, and you wanna add um, this console command. Similar, you know, with all the Half-Life games, especially Counter-Strike, if you play that game, you will be familiarized with this little command. So, uh, basically, everything is already configured, you don't have to do anything, actually. If you want to change some um, aspects of the server, just go to, into the Insertion C folder, and you want to go to, um, just let me see here, do you want to go to the Config folder, and here you're going to go to... Um, server cooperative co-op co co and here you have to change some variables of the server itself because I almost play only cooperative because I think it's it's the f it's a more fun uh, aspect of this game um, as you can see the bot difficulty is very challenging right now because it's, uh, I think the maximum is free but you can change all the all the characteristics um, the way you want also, the, the this game is already configured with the you know a source mode and meta mode. You're gonna go to atoms. You want to go to source mode, configs, and edit your admin simplini. Here you'll have uh, to put your local IP, the the local IP of the of the admin computer. Uh, and here are all these uh, crap. You don't. Have, you just have to change your local IP as desired. You just save it, and we're almost ready to go. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to um, how the game actually f fires up, and how to you know enter the admin administration menu. So let's go to the shortcut and see how the game works. Keep in mind this version is completely non-Steam. Uh, as you can see, we're gonna go type version. It's, it's the latest version up to date, so you can see the version uh, date is, um, you know, it, it's from February 24, 2017. The exit version is 2.4.0.9. So yeah, basically, if you if you wanna, this is the overall game. So now we're gonna exit. You can always play with bots. You wanna just click on solo, and here you can change the game mode you want to play and, and bots are gonna be fired up uh, but now I'm gonna show you how to create the server which is very easy it's very it's very straightforward there's nothing that you won't be able to do so yeah we're back here um, I just closed the game uh, you want to go also uh, once again to the game folder uh, here we're gonna go to this bat, little bat here. You can always edit it with whatever parameters you want. Uh, right now it's uh, set up so that it starts with the map Sinjar Co-op, max players 32 and whatever. So I'm gonna execute that bat file. You wanna wait until you can see that insecure it's displayed. So I wanna wait until that is showing up. Um... So there you can see VAC secure mode is activated. Once you you read that, it means that the server is already running. So now you want to go to ma to minimize this server uh, console, and then we're gonna execute obviously the game itself. And obviously to join the server, you have two ways to do that. First, um, you're gonna open the console. You can type connect as always and the uh, local IP of the server. Or the other way that it's the easier, <coughs> sorry about that, the easiest way is go to the server browser, you know, the iconical Counter-Strike source uh, server browser menu is going to show up, and then here in the LAN tab, you should be able to see your, your server. So now we're going to go and double click on the server, and I'm going to show you how to properly manage your server inside the game, inside gameplay. So, uh, yeah, we just wait until the game it starts. Here you're going to choose whatever class you want to you wanna use here. Maybe specialist. You, here you can tune all the aspects of the gun. So, once again, this game is very cool. It, it looks very professional. I mean, it looks AAA. 
I mean, it started. It all started as a as a Half Life Two mod back in 2007. But now, in 2017, the game has, you know, improved a lot, brother. So uh, here you can choose whatever you know uh, things you want. This secondary pistol, you know, uh, I'm gonna choose the 1911 because it's my favorite gun. And then we're gonna go to apply. Uh, so yeah, once we are in game, you wanna just wait until this timer rounds up. And meanwhile, you're gonna just open the console and type. SM underscore admin. Sorry, it's very difficult to type with only one hand. And here you will see the server menu that you can obviously manage with the with the numbers. So we're gonna go just let's say you want to change the map. We're gonna go to type two server commands and then choose map and you can choose whatever map you want. And you know there are a lot of things you can add. Uh, you can add plugins. You have to make sure it's compatible with insurgency. And yeah, voting commands. Uh, you know, kick vote, whatever. Um, let's go to back here. Player commands. You can slay, slap, kick. Uh, you know, mute a certain player, burn a certain player. Uh, there, there, you have a lot of things here. You got. You can. You know. Uh, time bomb, fire bomb, blind player, a lot of a lot of stuff here. Uh, gravity player, drag player, rename player. Let's gonna drag player. I'm gonna drag myself. And here you can see I'm kind of a, you know, on drags here. You can see no flashy colors. It's all distorted. And yeah, basically this is the game. I hope you you guys like this uh, little contribution I made here. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this game. I highly suggest you to buy the game itself. Although this is the non-Steam version, I highly suggest you to buy the game. It's very cheap on Steam. It's like three dollars. Um, it's a great game. It's a, it's a very you know not a lot of people know about this game, but they should really uh, you know uh, at least play it once uh, because it looks pretty amazing. So yeah, um, see you next time, and I hope you like the video. I think this is uh, one of the one of the greatest first-person shooters that I ever played uh, in the last uh, time, in the last you know month or years. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a great addition to my Counter Strike Battlefield slash Modern Warfare collection for LAN gaming. So yeah, um, I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any any questions, just just uh, write them in you know in the comments below, and see you next time. Have a great day.